students today we will discuss uzt triggering circuits uzt what is uzt uzt is a semiconductor device uzt triggering method so uzt stands for uni junction transistor so making use of this uzt we are going to study how we can design <coughs> a simple firing circuit for scr so basically uzt is a semiconductor device it's a three terminal device these two terminals are labeled as base 2 base 1 and this terminal is called as emitter terminal okay since it has single junction it is called as uni junction device okay it is like a normal semiconductor device dzd but it is most of the times used as a relaxation oscillator okay so i will not go into the details and <coughs> uh, Uh, and details and architecture of this UZT, but I will recommend that students should go through the basics uh, architecture. It is constructional details. Then its characteristics, GI characteristics, and its application. These all things. we must know this is a prerequisite for this video course okay or for this video lecture so understanding of these three concepts is very essential so basically we are making use of this uzt as a relaxation oscillator okay so uh, what are the blocks uh, while designing a triggering circuit so our main uh, aim is to design this uzt triggering circuit and this is mainly for scr that is silicon control rectifier so for this we are interested how to design this triggering circuit <coughs> so we know that uh, in triggering circuit uh, for turning on scr to turn on to turn on scr we provide a gate signals gate signals are essential okay and these gating signals are designed or are generated by use of this uzt triggering method so we are going to study the line synchronized line synchronized application line synchronized application in the sense uh, uh, movement uh, the input cycle the input ac cycle changes accordingly the pulses firing pulses will change automatically for scr so that's why it is called as line synchronized uh, triggering circuit <coughs> so what are the basic building blocks what are the basic blocks okay so first uh, first thing is we required a ac source okay so from this ac source we uh, design a rectifier we design a rectifier that is ac to dc converter so this is the first step in which we are converting ac supply into the dc supply okay then after this uh, followed by this rectifier we use a regulator a regulator circuit okay so generally Uh, any regulator is preferred, but we pre use mostly here Zener shunt regulator. Zener shunt regulator that we are going to use. <coughs> And then uh, this DC supply, regulated DC supply, we apply to the UZT circuit. And the output of this UZT circuit we are providing to the special transformer. This transformer is called as pulse transformer this is a special transformer this is called as pulse transformer okay and here at the output of this 
we are generating the pulses like this okay so such a types of pulses are generated at this uh, uh, output terminals and these pulses are used for triggering acr so this is a special type of a transformer that we are using in this uh, particular circuit this pulse transformer is highly saturated transformer highly saturated saturated transformers so these are special transformers okay so by making use of these transformers we are uh, connecting these gate pulses to the acr so let us try to draw the circuit diagram and we'll uh, identify the um, pick up points where we are interested to observe the waveforms and in the later part i will show you its simulation in the proteus software so let us go to the circuit diagram so circuit diagram essentially will consist of first part that is a rectifier so rectifier is nothing but a simple bridge rectifier i will construct here a bridge rectifier which has four diodes like this okay. so here i am applying ac supply okay here a dc supply is generated this is a positive dc and this is a negative okay so here i am connecting a resistor which is of let's say 100 ohm and i am connecting some general regulator in shunt okay this is my regulator circuit so this point is a ground point okay so this vz is typically of 10 to 15 volt okay that i am choosing now this regulator voltage i am feeding to one more resistor which is of 100 ohm and then this i am feeding to one variable resistor let's say it is of 470k okay this is uh, uzt that i am using here okay and to this uzt i am uh, to this emitter i am giving one end of this uh, potentiometer or variable resistor and there is one more resistor which acts as a load okay and <clears throat> This point is connected here. Then at here, I am connecting one electrolytic capacitor of let's say 0.47 microfarad, and, and this is let's say one kilo ohm. And here I am connecting, as I said previously, a simple pulse transformer. Okay, so here I am connecting a pulse transformer, and uh, then here uh, I am using this ACR and to the gate of this i am connecting this meeting signal and this point is connected to the cathode like it is ground and then this ac signal phase is connected uh, to the uh, anode via a load so here i am connecting a load as a lamp so this is my lamp load so this is a lamp load and this is a neutral ground point that I'm connecting here okay so this is in general my uh, uh, simple UZT uh, uh, triggering circuit so here if you observe at this point if I take the test point then my waveform will be rectified so I will get simply rectified output full wave rectified output like this so if I observe the waveform at this point let's say point a then potential at v a point will be something like this this is a full wave rectified output voltage okay so if i draw with respect to time then i will get something like this then since this is a zener shunt regulator that i have connected across if i measure the voltage or if i test the voltage at point b then somewhat clipped voltage i will get yeah, so this is a rectified voltage so if it is a rectified voltage then uh, i will get something like this okay something like this voltage that will appear at this point number at point three. so this is the zener shunt regulator voltage so this is vb voltage and then if i if i observe at this point this is capacitor charging point and i will observe the charging and discharging okay so let me show it by a different color 
will choose let's say red color so here the capacitor charges if let's say this spot value is very low then capacitor charges through this minimum 100 ohm resistor very quickly and then in that case i will get a uh, very fast charging okay fast charging and discharging so i will get rapid pulses like this rapid pulses like this okay? uh, or if i increase the value of this resistance then uh, obviously the charging time will be more and capacitor requires more time so it will take a longer time to charge and discharge like this okay so that depends on the value of this variable resistance and depending on that the pulses will be generated here uh, and similarly i will get the pulses here like this okay and these pulses i am feeding uh, to the uh, scr to turn the load on okay so this is the overall working of circuit so without wasting much time i will quickly go to the uh, proteus software but it is uh, here in this uh, very essential to understand how this usd works so it is a prerequisite concept that uh, we must know how this usd works okay so let us quickly go to the uh, proteus software now here try to understand how this circuit is built see this is uh, input sudden source then here this is a second uh, here the second device is a transformer this is a step down transformer i am using for converting high ac voltage to low voltage then i am using a bridge rectifier as i drawn in the figure then this is a 100 ohm resistor and this, this is a zener shunt regulator okay i am i have connected a one voltmeter across this zener shunt regulator in order to measure the voltage one voltmeter I have connected here also. So this is AC voltmeter and this is DC voltmeter. Very simple circuit I have built in the Proteus in order to understand the working. Okay. Then uh, from this general regulator, this 100 ohm resistor, it is given to the 470k variable port. And its one end is given to the emitter and one end is given to the capacitor. Okay. This capacitor is an electrolytic capacitor. And then here this one end through load 1k is connected to the dc supply okay this is a very simple circuit now in order to measure the dc voltage the waveform observe i have connected this oscilloscope here this port a point a is connected to this point in order to measure or in order to observe the zener voltage form the point b is connected to this point which shows the charging and discharging of the capacitor okay and the third point c point here i am observing the gate pulse as i explained previously in the circuit diagram this is a special transformer called as a pulse transformer which is highly saturated transformer which generates a narrow spikes pulses which are essential to trigger the scr this is a simple lamp load which is connected to the ac mains the moment i turn on the simulation and if i move this port you will observe this lamp will glow its intensity <coughs> here if i physically connect some uh, lamp physically then its intensity will uh, go on decreasing and, uh, and obviously will go on increasing as i change the movement uh, as i change the directions of this port so let us try to see its uh, simulation you can see clearly here you can see very easily this yellow colored waveform is a a point waveform which is connected to the zener nerve which i have shown this is a clipped waveform which is of 12 volts this is the charging discharging of condenser and this third uh, waveform is a triggering signal let me take it little bit downwards so that we can easily understand and i will reduce its amplitude so that we can easily observe it okay so this is my gating signal so this uh, uh, <coughs> pink colored uh, signal is a gating signal which is the signal at the secondary of the pulse transformer this blue colored signal is the charging discharging of the condenser as shown here and this yellow colored waveform is the zener uh, regulator output okay now let us uh, understand what is the effect 
if I change this part. So in order to observe this, I will zoom it a little bit so that you can understand. Now see, the pot position is at the top. That means only 100 ohm resistor is there. So capacitor charges very fastly. If I further reduce the value of this pot, you can see capacitor charges very fastly. Very fastly. It charges to this peak value and discharges very fastly. And therefore I will get a peak spike here. Okay. Now if I increase the value of this pot, if I increase the value of this pot, you observe uh, the charging time required will be more because capacitor will take a longer time to charge okay and therefore in this way uh, this uh, charging of capacitor will be uh, observed okay here you can see clearly these getting signals that i am getting here are very sufficient enough to trigger the uh, scr okay now similarly uh, uh, as i reduce further Okay, here yeah, very very low gate pulses, very small gate pulses and therefore intensity will be very low and low DC voltage will be provided. Okay, but as I increase this pot position at the top side, this CR5, uh, capacitor charges discharges very fastly at the earlier stage of the cycle and therefore um, uh, very large DC voltage will be uh, very large AC voltage will be given to the uh, load and therefore the brightness of the load will be more. Now you can observe even the load uh, in this figure also. Here you can see uh, this lamp is glowing but we cannot see its intensity is varying since it is a simulation. We cannot <coughs> denote, uh, uh, we cannot demonstrate uh, the intensity variation. Uh, lamp intensity variation over here. So this is a very simple simulation with the help of which we can understand the UZT triggering circuit. So I request all of you uh, to design this circuit, to build this circuit and test it. Uh, here you can see this voltage uh, across zinger is around uh, 12 volts that I am getting. Okay, As the uh, voltage changes it will be changing. Okay, So this is what it is. So we will stop here. Thank you.